Good morning to you. Excuse my cap. Actually, I like my cap. Not sure about you. I've just been out somewhere. The sun is shining. So I've still got my cap on. Also, I'm not having a good hair day. I'm, I'm on my way to the hairdresser. Um, but, and also, I've got a washing machine going in the background. So this morning, I'm just giving you some very real news. And this is for all the ladies out there. So I thought I may as well just keep my cap on. Um, and if the if the washing machine in the background bothers you, then maybe it's the Spirit of God telling you that you need to do washing today in the natural. So I've been thinking about this. this well, the reason I say this is for the ladies is that um, when you get to a certain age, I don't have to mention ages, but I, I, I think it, it happens to most women is that you begin to realize that you need you either need to take extra supplements so you need more sleep or you need to change your diet and and then i'm the kind of person if somebody doesn't say to me these are the supplements you need to take take them i will i just put it off i forget i don't see the need don't judge me for that so i'm not very disciplined when it comes to taking supplements and that kind of thing and water i forget to drink water so all these natural things Unless somebody's telling me to do it, reminding me to do it, I will just not do it and I get on with life. Um, but there are certain things that I've tried and they just don't work. You know, you go, you read, you see in your, in your news feed, all, all these adverts pop up on social media, how to lose your stomach over a certain age. Do all these exercises. Uh, and, and there are these things out there to take probiotics or not to take collagen supplements or not all of these things and it just bombards us on a daily basis and so i've tried a whole lot of things and i can honestly say that a lot of them have not worked for me i haven't found that perfect thing now please i'm not asking you for health advice i've got enough of that i just need to be disciplined um, but i have found one thing that works and so here's my key for you as a woman today who's looking to find this you know this place where we feel our bodies are operating we are in uh, our, we feel healthy and strong we're getting enough sleep because we have peace in our lives and i found the biggest key the only one that works for me maybe now you can hear the beeping of my washing machine telling me the cycle has been completed so this is what works for me reading the scriptures knowing the peace of god and even if my life doesn't, uh, you know, even if I feel as if I don't have everything together in my life, my prayers, I'm still waiting for the answers to prayers. I still feel tired in my body. You know, I still need to lose belly fat and that kind of thing. I do enjoy a good pizza. You know, all of these things that go on in our minds. Maybe you're praying for your kids. I'm missing my kids because they don't live in Cape Town. Um, Maybe there are things that just don't seem to be working out for you. And the, the only thing that works for me is going to God and finding the peace that I have. Just knowing I have a relationship with Him. And when I come to Him, He's not telling me what's wrong in my life. He doesn't care if I've got a little bit of extra fat on my stomach, unfortunately. Um, he doesn't care if I haven't been drinking enough water during the day. <laughs> Maybe he does, um, but he just loves me the way I am and for who I am. And that sets me free. And if I start my day out turning to him and saying, God, you are the one I can come to. You know, it's like when um, uh, you, we come to God and, and we expect him to point out all our faults and the things we did wrong. And he doesn't. And so I've got two scriptures to read for you to read to you today and the one is and i'm reading from psalms the uh, the psalms poetry on fire it's the passion translation psalm 116 um one and two listen to this it's actually yeah one and two i am passionately in love with god because he listens to me every woman's dream every person's dream but i'm a woman so i can speak from my point of view, to have somebody who will give you their undivided attention. And in this world, it's so difficult to find. I'm, I struggle, uh, even myself, uh, even myself, 
to give somebody my undivided attention. When the, your phone beeps and there's an email, there's a phone call that comes in, there's a nice car or somebody wearing a nice dress walks past. You know? So to, to, for, for me, to receive undivided attention is amazing. And so this is, this is what God does with us. I'm passionately in love with God because he listens to me. He hears my prayers and answers them. As long as I live, I'll keep praying to him, for he stoops down to listen to my heart's cry. This is why this is the best probiotic, antibiotic, medicine, health, giving, life giving substance and sustenance we can have in our lives. And here's another one, Psalm 69 verse 13. I know you will bend down to listen to me, for now is the season of favor. So as much as I would love to find this magic potion of something that will make me feel fantastic from the time I get up in the morning until I go to bed at night and then, you know, I'm a good sleeper. I don't have a problem with sleep. I don't ha really have a problem with frustration. Um, I don't get depressed easily, but I've learned to put all the little things aside that bug me. I'm learning the things that irritate me and frustrate me, the, the things I'm waiting for God to do, this anticipation, this, you know, hurry up and do it today, please God. Um, I've learned that if I put this, going to God, knowing that he listens to me and he loves me just the way I am and he gives me his undivided attention, is my answer, my supplement for you today, the, the one thing you need, a revelation, that when you pray, God stops and he bends down to listen and he wants to answer your prayers. So if you're a little bit frustrated today, maybe get, get yourself a nice sun hat, go out into the sun, get some fresh air, get change the scenery that's making you feel like you're bogged down, Go for a nice walk, sit outside in the garden, do whatever you can to change the scenery. If you're at work, go for a walk around the office or something. And expect, know that when you begin to pray, when you open your mouth and you turn to God, and you say, I'm so frustrated, I'm so tired of where I am, I know there's some change, I know something needs to happen, and God bends down to listen to you and he wants to answer your prayers today. So be encouraged with that today. Maybe go and do your washing today. That'll help. Right now, I've got to go. See you soon.